All right, once you have 30 stitches cast on, and remember the slip knot counts as one, so if you tie your slip knot on, you're going to do 29 cast ons. Take this needle and move it over to your left hand. Have the loops facing to the left and the knotty part facing to the right. You're going to hold this in your left hand. Now I'm going to show you how to do the knit stitch. Take your other needle. We're going to look at this first stitch here. We're going to wiggle the needle under that stitch. See how it's under it now? And put that needle so it's behind your left one. So you have an X with the right needle being underneath. Now take your yarn that's leading to your ball. Wind it around back. Just take it around back and over the back needle so it comes in between the two of them. And then take that right needle and maneuver it back down through so it's going over the yarn you just pulled over and under the knot. And then once you've done that, oops, see I little missed a little one. Make sure you get all strands of the yarn under it. Then you can just pull it off. And now you've got your first stitch on the right needle. Watch, we'll do it again. I'm going to go underneath the yarn, make sure I go under all the strands. Put that right needle behind the other one, making an X. Take my yarn, put it around the back needle, over in between the two needles. And then I'm going to take my right needle and put it down in between the stitch. And then I can just pull it off. Make sure you don't keep pulling this tight over here as you do them because then it's going to be harder when you go to your next row. Try to keep things nice and loose. But if it's tight the first time, that's okay. You'll learn as you go along. I'm going to try another one. I'm going to go in the stitch, wiggle it in there, push it to the back. My right needle's underneath. Take the string, the yarn, go around in between the two needles. And I'm going to take my right needle and move it back down through that stitch and pull it off. Now don't get frustrated if you're having trouble. This takes a, lot, it takes a little bit to get used to, but you'll be surprised how quickly you get it. Don't get frustrated with yourself. You can see that I'm even still getting used to it, that I'm having to use my hands to make sure this is up high enough and some of my stitches over here are a little tight so it's harder to wiggle this through. So it really just takes practice. And if your stitches aren't looking too pretty, don't worry about it. That's normal. It'll get better as you get more experience. Oops, see here how I didn't get through that one strand? Move it back out. Make sure you get all your strands on your needle. Okay, I'm going to talk you through one more and then I'll let you finish this row. Go un get in that stitch. Take the yarn. Go around back and over. Then take my right needle, get back under that stitch and pull it off. And it's going to feel awkward for a while, but you're not going to be sure where to put your fingers on the needles, but that's okay. Just as you do it, you'll find what works best for you. So don't worry if it doesn't feel right in the beginning. So go ahead and keep doing that knit stitch and all the way down this whole row until finally you'll be pulling that last stitch off the top and onto here, and you'll end up with all these stitches on this needle.